Guys, welcome to another episode on sports marketing and uh, in today's episode i'll be talking about how fast you can make at least hundred dollars from an amazon affiliate in each site now i've gotten several questions from students from people that are interested in amazon affiliate marketing over time and really want to know how fast you can make the amount of money at least hundred dollars per month from a typical amazon affiliate niche site and how easy it is so basically this episode is about answering that particular question and uh, i would like to show you one or two things on my screen to uh, lend credence to the things that i'll be sharing with you now the first thing that you should know is that when you are setting up an amazon affiliate marketing site you don't need a whole lot of traffic you need targeted traffic what do i mean by targeted traffic often when i um, instruct students about setting up amazon affiliate new sites i tell them you don't have to target the general keyword that people target you have to target specific keywords that can identify uh that that people can identify with those that want to buy a particular product can identify it you have to target specific um keyword not just any other keyword so example of those keywords are something like uh let's say best and bag and bag for for uh travel for example now for best and bag for travel for example that's a typical keyword that anybody that's interested in buying and bag for travel will search for on google so let's say you search for this particular let's say you have a site about fashion and uh, you, or you intend to start, start a site about uh and bag or something like that in this niche and you have a page like this there are every tendency that anybody that is searching for this keyword is interested in buying and bag at that particular point in time so the conversion rate is always very very high as compared to um ranking for generic keyword so that's the number one thing i should take notes your keyword if you're interested in any hundred dollars from um at least hundred dollars from an amazon affiliate niche site per month the first thing you should do you should do is target keywords that are very 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 specific yeah so uh Yes, target keywords that are very, very specific. And how do you get this done? I, I, uh, in some of the videos on the channel, I cover the basis of uh, selecting the right keywords and uh, getting them to rank on Google. But that is not the main focus of this video, right? The main focus is to show you or to give you a timeline of how fast or how easy it is for you to earn at least $100 per month from an Amazon affiliate niche site. So after knowing, understanding uh, the fact that you have to target a particular keyword, I want to show you the crucial factor that play a role in the amount of money that you earn from a typical niche site the first thing is the search volume of the keywords you are targeting right if the search volume is low and the product of the price is low as well then there are tendencies that you might not really earn much from the site so uh, let me show you uh, an example now um let me show you an example now because uh, i'm talking about handbag for travels yeah so basically what you want to consider in setting up your site to ensure that at least you earn let's say uh about 100 dollars at the very least from a typical niche site you have to consider the search volume of the keyword you are targeting you have to consider the commission for the keyword you are targeting as well as your ranking how competitive the niche is now I'll, I'll cover those things as fast as i can in this video because i don't want it to be a very long video now i talk about the search volume search volume was reasonable okay if you are just starting out in my course i teach students to focus on search volume or on keywords that are very very low competitive so I, i'm talking of keywords around like a 50 or 250 searches per month so obviously if you were to be taking my amazon affiliate cost uh, cost training you know, realize that this keyword is uh not a keyword i would recommend if you are uh, setting up a new site but once your site starts gaining traction once you, are, you start having some authority on your site you can compete for keywords like this so let's say your site is about uh two three months old and um and you've been getting you've been working on the site continuously for that kind of period then targeting keywords like this is not a bad idea so let's say you have a site about fashion and you're targeting keywords on best and back for travel so let's see how much can you really make if you are ranking number one for this particular keyword how much can you really make let's say you have um, you have a site and you're ranking for best uh and back for travel already and based on the data that i have here is getting 720 visitors per month from us and um how much can you make basically so uh this is this is and you're ranking number one for that particular keyword so let's see let's see the product price on amazon so that we can uh, i can show you how much you uh stand to hand if you're ranking number one for this particular keyword so uh let's say handbag for travel i'm just searching here so that i will have an idea of what a typical product price is in this niche now let's see let's see 
uh okay see the products uh, the product ranges between 27 dollars 17 dollars 36 dollars so let's settle for 20 dollars because 20 dollars is kind of like in between uh the prices that i'm seeing here yeah so uh, 27 dollars 18 dollars 12 dollars and all of that so most of them are within that range so let's set for something in 20 that they are expensive ones but uh, not all the time you might not be uh, selling stuff like this all the time so let's say 20 dollars averagely now the search volume is 720 visitors per month from the us alone so let's say you are ranking you are let's say you are in this position number one the attendance is that based on my uh, past experience there are tendencies that you most probably get 40 to 30 percent of traffic that are coming directly from google like the first page the first result gets about 30 to 40 percent of the organic traffic while others uh, other pages will share the remaining uh clicks so let's say you're on this page and you are getting 30 percent click through rates for instance now these are hypothetical uh suggestion anyway so um let me put up the yes i want to put up my calculator so i can see how we can walk through this thing and understand how it works so basically let's say we are getting 30 percent of the traffic to our page yeah so uh 30 percent of that of 720 that would be 30 divided by 100 uh 100 that's 0.3 yeah 0 0.3 multiplied by 720 720 that's like 216 visitors per month to that particular page now let's say of the 216 visitors these are hypothetical figures anyway let's say of the 216 visitors let's say we are getting standard is about 10 percent conversion from your site to amazon so let's say about 10 percent of them are landing on amazon from your site are really really buying the products yeah so that would be uh multiplied by uh, i think point one yeah that's 20, 20 it means you you probably be selling about 21 bags per month yeah from that particular article so let's multiply the number of bags that you are selling with the price average price of the bags we said uh it's about um 20 uh, we assume the price of the bags to be about 20 that's 432 dollars now this is not the amount you hear this is the amount of products that you sell from direct products let's say those that are coming from your from google landing on your site and going directly to amazon to buy the bag so let's say yeah that's like the uh, the worst figure you can get now um bag obviously belongs to the fashion fashion category yeah so let's look at the commission rate for fashion fashion is about 10 percent amazon fashion women that's 10 percent so for this you get 10 percent of that so you must multiply by um point one point one is 10 percent so so it means for that particular page if you are sell if you are if you are getting just 10 percent conversion 30 percent conversion from organic search 10 percent conversion on amazon you are making for three dollar from that single article per month now i must make you understand that this is a very 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 humble figure like there are tendencies that you get like times 10 or times 15 of this figure that, that i just gave you right now reason being that most of the time people don't just go to amazon to buy stuff alone let's say i'm interested in buying this particular bag amazon has a way of making sure that i'm not just buying that bag see let me show you how it works now see frequently bought together so they are saying those that bought this bag they did not just buy this bag and go they bought something like this as well so more often than not people will click on this item and buy and you earn commission for for that as well and stuff like this so they know how to convert customers from just uh, buying something to uh, buying more than one thing so the idea is that at the very very minimum if you have articles like this and you're ranking for number one you stand at least to make you stand a chance of making at least 50 dollars from this particular um uh, from this particular article just one now imagine having 10 or 20 of that and ranking let's say one to three on search engines that's about over over 500 dollars per month so but to give you an idea of uh, specifics let me see if i can pull up a page so that you see how this commission works so uh most of the time when i write a new article on my site on some of my established sites i give those articles a particular tracking id so um, the idea there is that i want to know how much each of those articles are making so if i'm to, if i'm to spend on a particular site i know which of the sites to spend on and which of the sites to uh to stylishly boycott for a while so this is a tracking this is the data from a single article yeah on my site and um the keyword is getting about i think 150 visitors per month so now there are long tail keywords they are like the 
to the fact that this ben best hand bag travels as just 720 searches per month does not mean it will get just 720 searches per month in fact in most cases it will get much more than it will get like times 5 or times 10 of that search because they are long take you some people will not use this exact keyword to search for the product they are looking for but Google understand that they are searching for handbag for travels and they will still rank your page for it. So this particular report or earnings that you are seeing here is from a single article with this tracking ID from a single article and the search volume for that keyword is I think uh let me let me let me check. Best the keyword is very simple. I'm putting that there anyway. Best uh best multivitamins for men over 60, something like that. It's a KGR keyword. So and see it's getting I think C. It's not even showing anything yet. Zero. Best motivator for men over 60. Showing zero searches per month. Yeah. And we are not even on number one for the article. We are on number two for the article. So, and last month, this same article made $61. So, I think that should give you an idea of how all of these things work. It should give you an idea of um, the prospects of how it works. And uh, hopefully, to give you insight on how easy it is for you to make at least $100 from an Amazon affiliate niche site and uh, the number of search volumes that you need and all of that. So now the idea, the idea there is that having articles like this, having like, let's say having uh, 10 or 20 of these articles, before you know it, it will uh, culminate into something big and you would be happy that you've invested time in creating sites like that. So that's how to uh, assume the amount you can earn from a typical Amazon affiliate niche site. And if you like the content of the video, don't forget to give it a thumb up. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to share with your friends on social media and uh, on Facebook, on Twitter and all of that. So I'll see you in the next video.